Sonia Dovedi first took an interest in yoga after being exposed to it through her grandfather's morning yoga practice as a child. My grandfather, every morning he would do yoga and then he'd go for his walk. He was in the army, so he had a very strict schedule about how he liked to live his life. So I always did some yoga with him. After that experience with her grandfather, yoga became a part of her life and she decided to take her training to the next level. When I started my first job, I said, okay, I want to do some sort of more formal yoga training. So I did my 200 hour teacher training in New York and really loved it. After deciding to quit a marketing job she didn't love, she traveled to India to learn more about the philosophy of yoga as well as our culture. So I went to India to spend a month with my grandparents and um, I didn't come back for three years. Sonia studied under Sri Bikes Iyengar and his family in Pune, India. Sri Bikes Iyengar is known for practicing yoga over a long period of time to attain perfection. I would practice in this yoga hall for three hours with you know, the Iyengar family and a bunch of teachers from around the world. And then in the afternoons, I just go to the library and read all these yoga books. And I tried to bring this into my classes too. So we do some chanting at the beginning of class. Use all the Sanskrit names. I think it's just important for them to, um, you know, experience a bit of the culture. Stretch your arms. Sonia and I are both pregnant, and she demonstrated some prenatal yoga exercises for both of us. Lift your hips up, getting the body ready for more active poses. We can take our arms up. The stretch felt good for my body. The armpits open, reaching the elbows straight. And the calmness helped relax my mind. So many people come to yoga for their physical body, for health, for fitness, but when you really unpack yoga, it's it's just a way of living. It's about quieting the mind. With the eyes closed, you can kind of observe inside how you're feeling from a different sensory perspective. Yoga can be beneficial during labor. Mm -hmm. Why is that? So many reasons. <laughs> All the poses that we've done have brought opening to the hips and spreading to the abdomen so the baby can get into a good position and also your hips can be ready to, you know, have the baby. I always talk to my students about this, you know, it's like you walked in the door for your body, but you're leaving with all of these other gifts that the yoga has brought for you. Sonia says her schooling in India has changed the way she views physical activity. So I was like a really like intense marathon runner and, and I just couldn't get what I needed from you know, a running practice anymore. And when I went to India with the Iyengars, they told me like, you're doing everything wrong. This is again, opening the chest. Lengthen. Like you're overusing your body. It was really fascinating to suddenly be scolded and reprimanded. I feel like it's become so much more balanced, brought so much more balance to my life and practicing in a way that will be wholesome. The, the mental peace and the emotional stability has helped so much too for me lift the collarbones up. During the pandemic, Sonia resorted to teaching her classes on Zoom, which she said was a great success. <laughs> That's good, Nikita. <laughs> Zoom classes have been going extremely well through the entire pandemic. One, it's we're not limited to a classroom size, so I can have, you know, 30 people on my Zoom room versus, say, in the studio, we could only fit 15 or something like that. I feel like I communicate more with my students now one-on-one -on -one because of the Zoom virtual setting. I'm always just really grateful to be helping them. Mm -hmm. As much as teaching on Zoom has been a successful experience, Sonia is looking forward to going back in person full time after her maternity leave. It's a totally different and wonderful experience to like hear someone breathe and to see how they're affected by the pose in person versus just through a screen. To learn more about Sonia Dovedi Yoga, visit her website. From Bethesda, I'm Rishai Sahalu.